Hi, my name is Elliot Johnson. I'm a solution architect at PH Data, and today I'm going to be demoing for you the new Snowflake's Cortex ML forecasting model uh, that allows you to take your sales information or, or take any of your information and help build a forecast around it. Uh, it's a very exciting product and I'm excited to demo it for you here today. So if you're following along with the blog, you've already created your tables, you've already loaded some test data, but what I'll do is I will share my screen with you and I will give you a quick rundown of what we've done so far. Coming right up. All righty, so I am sharing my screen here and let's take a look at the data. So we've actually built two tables and two views on top of those tables. So first we'll start with just the Walmart sales data. Uh, just a quick date preview, here you go. So this is just a bunch of data and information, what we would call in machine learning, we would call these features that we would use to build our uh, data that we've put into, that we will put into our model and using our predictive in analytics, we're going to be able to predict weekly sales for this Walmart store, store one. So also what we have here is the future Walmart sales data. So the second table, this is giving, based on a group of parameters, you're able to predict what actually is going to happen based on the previous models that you've trained. So this is all, this part of this is all kind of future looking and predictive. This is, we'll be generating for these dates specifically. You see, I've put in things like the, the flag, whether it's a holiday, because we have two holidays here at the end of the year. And we also have uh, a nice one here. So this was uh, Thanksgiving. So I also put in some just random temperatures, messed with the fuel prices, the consumer price index, and also the unemployment numbers. These are just kind of things that I've put out there as, as just randomized data. Now, what we also have out here, you can see our two, uh, here we go, this one. We have some data previews here. So this is the data preview. All I've done is cast in these previews a date, but what you wanna do is you wanna keep kind of your, your bronze, kind of your raw layer data. You wanna keep that separate from the rest of your data. So this is just a view that we've built and the view has cast the existing date information as a date, but as new data flows into your tables, you wanna be able to see it in your views. We'll use these views as actually the reference point for the model. Um, so we have that and then we also have the sales uh, one right here. Oops, preview. Same one here, right? Just a view of the previous data that I showed. So let's jump right in. It's a very easy form you have to fill out. So we go over here to the Snowflake AI and ML. We're going to create a forecasting model. And what we'll do is we'll name our model. Let's call it uh, Sales Predictions. Yep. We'll just call it Sales Pred. Sales Pred. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to be selecting a warehouse that we have to run this in. So I'm just going to select our, just our demo warehouse here for data science. And then we click, let's go. All right. So select your training data. This is pretty straightforward. Where's your history data that we can use to train our models? So ours is in demo AI marketing and our Walmart sales demo data. You can see it out here now. You notice that I selected the table. We probably shouldn't be selecting the table. We should be selecting the view, which is right here. So you make sure you select the view because the table currently doesn't have a date in it. If you do that, you will not be able to do the next step, which we will say, what is the, what are we trying to predict? The predicting the weekly sales, nice highlights there. That's very perfect. I love that, that it, say, it says, this is the column you're gonna look to predict. Next, what's the date? All right, so this is the indicator. This is the timestamp column. This is why you need to use the view. If you don't see anything here in your demo, you selected the table, not the view. So that's a, that's a tricky one just to make sure you follow along with. So next, all right. Now, what's your series identifier? So we only really wanna predict store one. We can predict as many as we want, but for this model, we're looking to build a, pred you know, a predictive model for, st store, for store one, so. Let's move forward with that. Now, additional features. Everything in here is a feature, so you can kind of just select all. Everything we're going to use here is part of a feature. Next. All right, now let's get our predictive data. So it is out here, and I have it saved as, I believe, Walmart. Here we go. 
here is our predictive data. So this is just the mocked up data that I built in the table. Remember, I'm selecting the view. Again, you can see the view. It's got two things there to help you notice that. So we will go next. Now, what is the time series? Date again. Remember, if you don't see the date, you selected the table, not the view. Next. And last, the series predictor. We're going to only predict store one. So you could predict more, but I only wanted to mock up data for one store. So final step here. This is what is the predictive interval with, right? How accurate do you want this to be? Are you willing to make wild jumps in your prediction? Or are you kind of want to stick to something that you know is going to be somewhat true or fit into that, that area? How accurate do you want the model to be? If you actually want the model to be more predictive, you can mess with these settings here. I also just, I will keep the table name the same, my forecast, and then today's date. So let's run done. Now, the low, you see the low code part of this that's very important is all of this has been generated for us, very easy to use. We can just select, I'm gonna select a database here. We're gonna put it in here. I'm gonna go up here and we're gonna select our smaller model. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna highlight all of this and it's as simple as just running it. You see, we're initializing our model. Oh, the Walmart V1 data already exists because I've already run this model. But once the model is done predicting, I will be right back. All right, thank you.